小川直也 VS 佐竹正明 183cm106.8kg 天下カラテ一代佐竹正明Masaki Satake. Oh, karate versus judo here. See what I mean? Look how crazy he looks. Oh, yeah. You know, Satake said that this is uh, going to be a very emotional fight because uh, Ogawa challenged Satake after Satake beat his stablemate, uh, Orokami Kazunari, in the last ride. And Satake's there. Satake's ready. Now, we know what each fighter wants to do in this one, don't we? You know, Sataki wants to stand up, and, oh, there he goes with the right hand! Throwing that right hand. Oh, and he got caught. Ogawa needs to take it to the ground. Sataki on him. Ogawa answering back with his own left. Ogawa definitely wants to take him down. Sataki just throwing those overhand rights. Taki go for the low kick. Ooh, going for the going for the home run there with the high kick. Taki's got to relax, get into the groove. Maybe double jab, right low kick. Double jab, right low kick. Now they respect each other. They know they can't just walk in. Taki showed him he's, he's got some stuff for him. The has got to get the takedown. This is Bill as judo versus karate. There we go. Ogawa trying to drop that straight left hand. It's not a good idea to duck down like that. Sataki needs to just throw that front kick straight up the middle. A lot like a punt kick. He did that, he did that to Gary Goodridge as well. Gary came on with an onslaught of punches. He kind of just bent over and kind of just... Now, Sataki has got... He's got his hands in the traditional... Well, he had in the traditional karate stance. Now, Ogawa's got a pretty decent straight left there. Already caught Sataki. Sataki's got a little mouse under that right eye. Don't be surprised if Sataki pulls a reverse punch out. Both men very intense, waiting. Sataki going in for a big slapping punch. It's like a palm strike there. Sataki should double jab through the right low kick to the inside. Sataki, not Ogawa's covering up pretty well, but it's not a good idea to lean forward like that. Ogawa throwing that right jab. He doesn't really want to box here with Sataki. But he is. Maybe he's made up his mind that he thinks he's going to outbox Sataki. He's just going to let Sataki into the fight. I think he's leaving himself open for knees and uppercuts. I don't think that's a good idea at all. Now it's Sataki. I'm surprised Sataki hasn't gone for a low kick yet. Maybe he's afraid he'll leave himself open for a takedown. Sataki likes the front, the, the front kick from his karate style. Let's see if he pulls it out here. You know, and as he told us, he likes to do the front kick and curl the toes down and hit with the toes to the solar plexus. Uh, he was explaining that to us uh, yesterday. And traditionally, in a front kick, you want to pull back and hit with the ball or pull with the heel. But I don't think he's going to want to throw a front kick to Ogawa because Ogawa can grab the leg. Sataki wants to box with Ogawa. It's obvious. It just takes one clean shot to turn the tide of the fight. Neither man has landed that clean shot. There's the low kick. So far, no uh, clinch attempts, no shoots. Ogawa just sitting there trying to trade and cover up. This fight may come down to producing. Nice right low kick by Sataki going with the overhand right. It's blocked. You know, I gotta say, I'm a little surprised by Ogawa's straight left hand from the southpaw stance. There's a lot of confidence in the striking. He's staying right in there. If anything, he's backing up Sataki. I thought we'd see a, a judo throw attempt or at least, this point. Yeah, or at least a clinch attempt. But maybe he feels if he gets into a clinch that Sataki will go to the body with punches and knees. Sataki throwing another kick that misses by about a foot. I think standing there and trading with Sataki is a big mistake. He landed that one. He left hook landed on uh, Ogawa. That right jab by Ogawa, that's a good sticking jab. He's does again. You know, it's obvious that Ogawa's worked with a boxing trainer in his, in his training. It really is. Maybe the southpaw stance is just throwing Sataki off a little bit. Uh, I think what's throwing him off is the height and the fact that Ogawa is confident to throw straight punches down the middle. 
Kotaki has been in with some of the greatest kickboxers in the world, Peter Arts, Maurice Smith, uh, Ernesto Boost. He's also been in with some of the greatest names in mixed martial arts. Unfortunately, his first mixed, lar mixed martial art uh, fight was against Mark Coleman, one of the greatest fighters in the history of the sport. And Sadaki unfortunately lost to a can opener neck crank from the guard. There he goes. I think that got him in the shoulder. Yeah, that didn't really catch him in the face. Uh, Nagoya is rolling with the punches fairly well. It's the reach advantage now, right now that's keeping Sataki at bay. There's that right hand again. Sataki needs to use his jab. Whether it lands or not, it'll set up either the right hand or the right low kick. Jab or double jab in, move in behind the jab, and then throw some damage. Ogawa confident with his left. And he goes again. Now there's the right low kick. I was waiting for that. It's, uh, Ogawa's not going to want to take a lot of those shots. Now the right low kick by Sataki caught the foot. With that kick, you really want to catch the shin and dig it into the leg. Now, that one landed with the shin. Ogawa's starting to feel those. I, you, I, I would, wouldn't be surprised if Ogawa shot in now. One more. I've seen uh, Sataki stop people. Yeah, there look. yeah, there's the shoot. You called it, Steve. And there's Sataki underhooking, getting back. He, he's had enough of those leg kicks, that's for sure. Yeah, because Sataki can kick pretty hard in the leg. There's another one. Ogawa's going to shoot again. He doesn't want to sit there and eat low kicks. Eat a right because the low kicks will take away a shoot for later in the fight. There's another low kick, which is skip left low kick to the back of Ogawa's right leg. There's blood coming out of Sataki's right eye. Now that just goes to show you that those punches of Ogawa's got some sting on them. There he goes. Oh, nice uppercut by Sataki there. Sataki's takedown defense is impressive here. Really his work on his takedown defense. Yeah. Ogawa's got inside three times and Sataki defended well. There's that overhand right. That almost landed up top of the head of Ogawa. Sataki starting to parry that right jab and finishing up with a left low kick. Sataki circling to his left away from the power of that straight left hand of Ogawa. Smart strategy for Sataki. That left hook lands on the chin. Now, see, Ogawa knew that because right after the exchange, he put his hands up. That left hook lands on the chin. It's going to really hurt. You can, you can see the effects of Sataki's low kicks on Ogawa's right leg. Starting to bruise up. Another one. Now, he actually checked that kick. Uh, he's trying to block those. Sataki should uh, disguise the kick with a jab or a fake right hand before he throws the right low kick. Now, Ogawa looks like he's going to go for a shoot. He's going to maybe jab in and go for a body lock. What he needs to do is body lock because his bread and butter is judo, so he's going to want to probably do either a hip throw or a squeeze down. He needs to get inside, Steve. You're right. You know, he really has respect for Sataki's firepower because he just doesn't just rush in. Sataki going high to remind him that it's there. Fans like that one. You know, Sataki knocked out Kimo who was a veteran of mixed martial art contests with that same right high kick. He's really holding off Nagoya here. I think that Sataki's got this round in hand. Two minutes left, folks. I, I agree with you, Steve. Sataki all the way in this round. Now, so far, those right hands are coming up short for Sataki, but if he finds his distance on that punch and catches Nagoya uh, moving back, it's going to be curtains. Is that right hand again? Oh, that was a good shot to the leg of Ogawa. How many of those can he take? Well, fortunately, when you kick with the front leg, uh, left leg roundhouse kick, you don't get as much power as you do from the rear leg. It's like a cannon. If it's a short barrel, it doesn't go as long. But if it's a long barrel, like a howitzer, that's what you want to have, land. You can deliver the front leg roundhouse kick faster than you can. That's the trick. A lot of times when you throw that right leg roundhouse kick, here we go, trading. When you throw that right leg roundhouse kick from the back, it leaves you open for a takedown because it takes that much longer to bring it back and 
as has been seen in a number of fights, uh, most notably Boss Rutten versus Kevin Randleman. When you throw a kick, the guy will grab your leg, take you down. There's that skip left low kick. There he goes. He tried, he tried to get in the clinch. Now, Ogawa's got him moving into a corner. Sakaki doesn't want to be in the corner because Ogawa will, will body lock, but there's only about 30 seconds left. I don't see this fight going to the ground in this round. Pretty much been Sataki getting the better of the boxing match, although Ogawa had some moments at the beginning of the round. Looks like a Sataki round to me, Eddie. Does, doesn't it look like there's much power behind, behind Ogawa's left cross. Looks slow. Sataki can see it coming a mile away. Yeah, and even though Sataki ate a few of them, it did cause a little bit of a cut, maybe from a previous punch from a previous fight, but it didn't rock him. Sataki all the way in that round, Steve. What do you think? Yeah, that was basically... Uh, Ogawa is making a strategic mistake by turning this into a kickboxing match with a kickboxer. The level, a K1 level kickboxer being Sataki, you don't want to stand up with the guy because, as I said before, he's got accomplishments in, in karate, ki, uh, kyokushin, in K1. You want to take him down, and Nagoya I mean, no, uh, Ogawa has got some submissions on the ground. Yeah, they're, they're, you see the, the effects of the low kicks by Sataki. They're icing it up. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if Ogawa wants to stand and trade with them or he's just frustrated with the clinch attempts. Just, he's, gone, he's gotten inside a couple times. Sataki's defense. There's that left low kick by Sataki. He's parrying that right jab now with his left hand and he'll crack that, and he only caught him with a foot, which isn't going to do as much damage. And Ogawa tried to answer back, but the right jab is not going to really be that much of a devastating weapon in this fight. Uh, Sataki parrying that right jab with his left hand and cracking that left low kick. Ogawa trying to reach in. He's reaching right here. He's open for the, the right hand. When he reaches, he drops his left hand when he does that. So I would think, if I were his cornerman, I would say shoot in, grab him, take him down take him down. I agree with you 100%, Steve. The, this strategy is not going to work with Sataki. Sataki doesn't look tired. He looks like he can go a couple more rounds. And if Ogawa wants to play this game, he's going to lose a decision. Now the problem is, by taking all those low kicks, that's going to eventually take away the speed and power in his shoot, his abil ability to move in for the takedown because he'd be basically immobile, hobbling around. You're right. You know, and, and eventually he's going to have to switch to orthodox stance because that right leg in front uh, as we can see, he's absorbing some kicks and it's bruised up right here. He needs to make that move now. He needs to get him down now. Okay, here we go, round two. Karate versus Judo. Ogawa versus Sataki. Sataki in the red trunks. Ogawa in the gray trunks. It's like Ogawa's got the same game plan. There's that left low kick. Crowd really getting into this one. Ogawa loves that left, that straight left. He keeps going to it, but Sataki's seeing it. I think if uh, any future opponent, oh, now here we go into a, he almost got him into a clinch, but uh, Ogawa can his own low kick, but it was Edmund didn't have much on it. He shoots for a single, got, go. got the single, trips him down. Now they're in Ogawa territory. Yes, he's gonna go for the Americana oh, here, the key lock. He's got the key lock, he's going for it. What's Sataki got to do here? He's gotta keep his elbows on the inside. See how his elbows are, are kind of butterflied out? He needs to, and there he goes, he's setting it up. Sataki defending well. Sataki should, he's gotta turn. Sataki's got to try and get guard from this position. Gonna, it looks like Ogawa might want to mount here. Although I think he might be safer with side mount. Because his bread and butter so far that we've seen in pride is the Americana, the key lock. He's thinking about mounting, but I think he's more comfortable here. It's a lot, a lot easier to control your he's mount. There he, goes. there he is. Got the mount now. But now remember, Murakami mounted him and he escaped. But Murakami was a lot, oh, not a good move by Sakai. Now he's in trouble. He's in now trouble. he's in trouble. He's got the hooks fully in, Eddie. Hooks in once he, it's over. It's over. I do not picture this, he's, he's roughing him up in the face. 
Yes. Taki's in a bad position. He's going out. There you go. It's over. He tapped. Rear naked choke. Judo beats Karate tonight. That was a great fight, Steve. You know, that really was. Uh, he had his game plan. He was going to go out there and stay out of harm's way, maybe eat some low kicks. Eventually, he knew that one shoot, that one takedown, was going to be the answer. And Sataki didn't want to have anything more to do with Ogawa. He jumped out of the ring. He's headed to the dressing room. He's out of here. Okay, so now Ogawa is 2-0 in prime.